Hey guys, this video is very weird, but I wanted to post it anyway because I kind of do like what I'm saying, so just be forewarned before you sit down to watch this. Uh, it gets a little fun, if you will. Yet again, I have a bit of a different video than normal. If you don't listen to the Help Me Be Me podcast, you should. But if you don't, I'll tell you that Sarah May is badass and she talks about amazing self-help and mental health things in a way that doesn't feel condescending, you know, like it's actually helpful and thoughtful. Um, but what she does is she'll take these everyday things and she'll make an analogy or a metaphor and she'll relate it to your life. So I actually thought I should start coming up with some tools and keeping them in an iPhone note because I'm going to need some when I write a book, you know, going to need them. So I, I got one finally. I'm very excited to announce that I have one and it's called The Fog. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. Uh, so let's get into it. Even if the concept itself, you know, the tool itself is not that great, fog kind of makes up for that as well as just the way I'm gonna explain it is I'm just really gonna connect it. And it's going to be an ironclad connection that's going to make a lot of sense to you. Yeah. Sometimes you're driving through the fog. You're, wa you're walking through. There's a fog that, that you wake up and it's set already. Sometimes you can't see even a foot in front of you, which is actually incredibly dangerous. And um, you should be very incredibly careful. Um, other times, the fog is not that bad. It's actually kind of up higher in the air and you can still see you know, in front of you at eye level. I had some fog happening with the weather the other day, a few days in a row, but one of them, I thought of this tool. And I could see about a quarter of a mile, half a mile in front of me and behind me, but that was it. Everything else looked like a Gaussian blur, if you know what I mean, yeah. Um, all around like a 360 Gaussian blur. And I said, this, this could be a tool right here. Sarah May would talk about this as a tool. So, all right, let's get into it. Sometimes you have a clear mind and you can see and plan and prepare for the future. And uh, whether that's next week or the next year or five years, but some days, you're so burned out and exhausted and stressed that you can't think any further than what's right in front of you. And sometimes you can't even think about the thing that's right in front of you either. So here's where the tool comes in. Let the fog, and everybody do this with me. It's like a guy in meditation now. Come in in those moments where you're exhausted you can't think straight, your thoughts are spinning, but at the same time, everything is blank. And let the fog, let it sit in front of you. Let it sit behind you. Let it sit diagonally. And just try to try to find that one thing, that just that corner of a mile. That's all you can do is a quarter of a mile right now. Just that one thing. It's all you can do to survive. And that's the fog analogy. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue, we'll let the fog sit. And it's my, probably my favorite part. And you can do this in real life, like in your cubicle with your mask on, of course. You can be like, okay, I have to put some fog around me for a second, I have to laser focus. And just the one thing I, I have to stop thinking about all the other things. Okay. Yeah. So I hope to come back to you with more tools, um, just to equip you to, 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 to fill up your toolkit and, uh, to prepare you to continue surviving the day to day life. That seems like a really lofty goal. Uh, so I might change that. That may not be the goal. That might have just been something that I said right now.